There we go. All right, this is for a um, science lab to dissect a crawdad. So we're going to make a, a data table. And in the upper right-hand corner, you need to put your name, the date, and the period. And at the top, you're going to put the title, and we'll fill that in later. But what you're going to do is you're going to put a little circle about the second line down, just like I've done here, and you're going to count down 10 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On that 10th line, you're going to make another circle. These are just reference points. Okay, then you're going to take your ruler using the metric side of the ruler and you're going to line up your zero point right here on that red margin line and you're going to draw a line 15 centimeters across. And then you're going to mark it every three centimeters. So 3, 6, 9, 12, and at 15. Then you're going to go up to the top line, and you're going to do exactly the same thing. You put the zero point on the red margin, and you're going to draw a 15 centimeter line, and mark it every three centimeters. Now, after you're finished with that, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to draw a vertical line along the margin and every three centimeters on your marks and go all the way across. table should start looking something like this. On the left hand side you're going to mark this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Put in total and then average. We're going to fill in the headings along here later. Or we could put them in now, but I could put in total weight, and I'm abbreviating weight with WT, and I'm going to put in parentheses a small letter G, which stands for grams. Then I'm going to put in the total length. And this is going to be in centimeters. The next thing we're going to measure or record is abdomen length. and I'll put centimeters. Then the next one, I'm going to have to break it up because it's, it's a long word, but it's called the cephalothorax. C-E-P-H-A-L-O thorax. And I'll explain what this means later. And again, it's in centimeters. And then the last thing that we'll measure will be the telson. Again, in centimeters.
that's it.